We've got two more that I'm excited about, but there's a, there's a few people we need to thank before we get there. I, I want to thank Barbara and Eric Breckner for organizing. Mr. Mr. David Hooper, who had an awful lot to do with planning and preparing and getting things ready, thank you. But there's a group that greatly represented here to whom we owe the greatest amount of gratitude, and that's the veterans who have served in our armed forces, and that's the reason we're still free. We couldn't be here today in a public protest saying we don't like what's going on if it weren't for some men and women who put their lives on the line to defend this country. If you're a veteran of the armed services, would you lift your hand today? Would just lift your hand. We want to look around the crowd. Let us look at you. God bless you. Thank you for your service. It matters. It really, really matters. Many of our founders made the statement, freedom is never free. That's still true today. And uh, so we owe these folks a great debt. I met a gentleman today, Mr. Bernice Covington. Where's Mr. Bernice Covington? World War II veteran was on the beach at Normandy. I believe he's earned the right to say whatever he wants to. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. It, it is hard. I, I choke up when I go talking <laughs> because I realize how much we have Amen. and how close we're coming to have it taken away from us. <laughs> it's, uh, I just can't believe what's happening up there in Washington. But you know, I don't know, I'm not good at quoting from history, but I don't know if it was Khrushchev, Gorbachev, I believe, said, we're going to bury you. We won't have to fire a shot. And brothers and sisters, you better watch out there getting close. That's right. Well spoken. Thank you. We appreciate all of you. We have some, we have some carnations that they want to give out to the veterans today. So if you'll just lift your hand, there's some folks who are going to start passing through the crowd again. Raise your hand, all of our veterans, and uh, and uh, they're going to be passing out some flowers for you. And uh, they're coming through. All right, there we go. Y'all, y'all, let them know. Don't don't be bashful. We want to just say thank you. We want to say we recognize you today. And uh, if you get a chance to talk to these guys, one of the things I want to encourage every one of you, those of you who know a World War II veteran, go find those people. Thank them first, then sit down with them for about an hour or two and talk to them. Ask the people who were here in those days who remember what war is really all about and talk to them and learn the oral history. We're losing this generation very rapidly. We need to remember them. They want to get all the veterans. Just come up here and let them snap a picture, all right? I'm going to go ahead and introduce our next speaker as we do that. Veterans, y'all come on. Honored group, an honored group. Thank you for being here. Vietnam vets. How many of you are Vietnam vets? Some of the most unappreciated heroes in America right there. Vietnam vets. God bless you. How many Iraq vets do we have? Iraq. God bless you. God bless you. Awesome. Appreciate all of you. Korea. How many were in Korea? Look at that. World War II. Here. Here's another one coming. Standing proud. Amen. What an awesome group. What an awesome group. Fantastic. Fantastic. Somebody taking the pictures? Thank you. Let's 
Squeeze in just a little tighter while they take a few pictures. Come on. It won't take a minute. Now let's go, turn, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. 